What's going on today? I'm going to be doing a review on a device or devices that I was sent for the purposes of the review. We got two in question. Got an email yesterday. Hey, man, dude, you're going to do that review? I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. He's like the lock thing. That's not helping me at all. That's I don't know what you're saying right now. What exactly is it that am I that I'm supposed to do a review on? Nalock thing. Okay, well, this is the Nalock thing. It's the N Glock 24. Never heard of this company. No limit something. No limit mods. I'm almost pretty sure it's not American. I don't really have a lot of information. So what I do have is a box, a dripper inside, which we will be going over. And it is not an RSA. You cannot squawk on this. All you get is the dripper. Uh, some crazy ass drip tip that looks like crazy ass person made it. I mean, there's like, it looks like Goldschlager, but hardened. I don't understand the idea with this drip tip. It's got like glitter in it. If you're using glitter drip tips, nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna travel down that road. Listen, if you wanna use a glitter drip tip, by all means, own that drip tip. Put your lips on that drip tip and mean it. Really work your lips on that drip tip. So without further ado, let's flip it. NL Glock 24. I got it in two different configurations. We have a stainless steel rendition and a black. I guess they dictate the color based off the color of the box because there's nothing else on this box. This review is going to be extremely short because there's really not a whole lot to talk about. These are the boxes. There are no warnings. The only thing that is on there is these little hashtags that say no limit mods. That's it. For some reason, this company name, maybe that's a racing attire, no limit. I'm sure someone's gonna comment down below. It might even be a soda. Of course, I will show you the black and show you the stainless steel, but for the purposes of the review, we're gonna be going over the stainless steel just because it picks up that much better with the black background. Gold drip tip that looks like a uh, gold schlager and a resin. And then over here, you have a white, silver, black, and gray drip tip. This one actually doesn't look that bad and they both are 810 Grenadier style. I really wish that this came with a squonk pin just because because nowadays everything has a squonk pin in it. For it not to have a squonk pin almost feels like it's missing something out of the box. Unless of course the drip is built in such a way where you can't use a squonk pin. So inside the box we have this lovely little trinket bag here which has o-rings and some screws. There's not even a screwdriver in this. I, this is about as desolate as it gets. It's not a bad looking drip tip, but I do feel like using this will make me appear a little bit lighter in the boots than I would like to be. You know what I'm talking about? You got those light loafers on. Everybody likes a good loafer. It's the last time you wore a pair of loafers. Who even uses the word loafers? Aren't they just shoes with little slots for pennies? And why did they make a penny loafer? Are you that broke that you need that penny in your shoe? Why do you stick a penny inside of your shoe? I know if I got a coin in my shoe, I would not be happy. I would be very angry because every time I move, it's sticking to the heel of my foot. Tell you right now by looking at it, take away this airflow. The first thing you think of is this. I saw this and I was like, that looks like a damn Goon 24. Of course, the airflow is different, but just the shape of it. But then again, someone will argue and say all shapes of drippers are like this. On the bottom, designed by No Limits, not Limit, No Limits Mods. Serial number down here on the bottom, that is a high ass number, 1,462. There's a lot of these out there. I have never seen anybody use one of these. On the top, we have our drip tip, and of course, that is going to come out. It does look like a 510, however, it is stuck in there. Jesus. O ring is, in fact, built into the top cap, as you can see. Guys, keep in mind whenever you have a dripper like this, make sure you take the O rings out and put this from this through the cleaner. There is no residual of machine oil. There's literally no taste of machine oil either, so this might be one of those few gems. More often than not, I'm one of those people that don't really clean shit. I just kind of 
go for it. And that is what that drip tip looks like on there. The O-rings are a little tight. Airflow on the top cap is gonna be on the lower side and is just gonna be a dual coil configuration. A Little bit of a conical shape, nothing too ridiculous here. Keep in mind that caps like this will get hot just because it's not separated and the airflow adjustment is with the top cap. So the heat's gonna travel up the top cap. Be very weary of how close your coils are to this top cap. On the sleeve itself, nothing too ridiculous, just a regular bare basic chamber. So this is what we're looking at. This is the deck, really simple. You kind of have a center clamp situation before. Can't say I've ever seen a deck in this fashion. A little dual post jammies here. These posts are gonna be your negative and in the center is going to be your positive post. So you can't just do two legs up here. You're gonna have to do a leg here and a leg there. I don't know how I feel about this because usually when you have a clamp system that is open-ended like this, a lot of the time the legs will fall out the side here and not grip. You need something really, really sturdy, but we'll go over that as I'm doing the build and I will speed that up and show you. However, you have two, three flathead screws. The extra screws that you have are the exact screws that you see right here, a little center block situation. Well isn't extremely deep. It's actually very, very shallow. Maybe four milliliters, and that's kind of milliliters because apparently we're pouring fucking soda in it. Maybe two millimeters, let's say. The deck is six millimeters in depth, however, it doesn't really look like it's that deep. There is no squonk pin. If there would be, they would have to replace this block with some holes or something so it can squonk. It's definitely a different style of posts. Do you see how large these portholes are? They're absolutely massive. I don't understand how everybody loves flatheads. And I could tell you right now, one of the issues one might have with this is keeping them up as you put your legs in there. There is no beveled situation, so as you try to stick your wire in there, it's not going to do anything special. It's just kind of... Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I hate about flatheads is I'm always scared. As I'm screwing it down, I'm going to slip with the screwdriver and it's going to go right in my hand back on top with the snow wolf and i have the glock 24 on the top of this now the funny thing is i just did a review on the block 22 this has no affiliation whatsoever with the block 22 the block 22 has that kind of glock 22 or glock 25 depending on which it doesn't really matter it has the glock feel to it this dripper reminds me a lot of the Goon 1.5. When I say a lot, I mean literally a lot. I feel like it's the sister of the Goon 1.5. Same type of cycloptic airflow. You can't really close off the airflow as you can't on the Goon 1.5, but it's a decent dripper. I mean, for those of you that drip down the center, you're not gonna achieve a whole lot by trying to drip through the center of this to wet your wicks. You're really gonna have to go my style, which is popping the top painting and then vaping. 69 watt build at 0.43. There it is. Show you some vape production. Here we go. Let me try to juice up my jammies. It's a little, it's a little dry in there. I don't get what kind of market they're trying to achieve by putting glitter in a drip tip, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that is not a market that I am in. I am not in the market of sparkly shit. I'm going to be wrong. Occasionally on the weekends, I'll wear my sparkly ass socks, but that's only in my own house as I try not to leave those. I also have a pair of some Umbro shorts. No, I don't, but I do. And the lining on the side, those are like those little baby Daisy Dukes. They're kind of like they feel like a jersey. Well, I wear those with the sparkly socks. And then for a tank top, what I like to do is take the bottom of my shirt and bring it up through the top and pull it tight, sort of like I have a massive bra on. I do this on the weekends. That's why my videos don't come out till the end of the day is because I don't want to perform a video while dressed like a fucking fruitcake. That's just how that goes. Maybe if I'm dressed like that, I should use this drip tip. Mm. Possibly. Airflow is good. It's a lot of airflow. Uh, 
I don't know what else to say. It's a guys, this is literally another dripper. The deck is of course a little bit different utilizing that center clamp situation, but I don't like clamps that are open-ended. I just have a really, really bad time with them. You saw my build in this. It wasn't difficult. I straightened the legs. So how would I rate this device on a zero to 10? I'm gonna give it like a four, 4.5. It's not that it's bad. It's just another dripper. I can't be happy with this device. I'll never use it. And that drip tip is absolutely horrendous. Horrendous. I feel like I belong in a field picking daisies while I'm using a drip tip like this. Or I have overalls on with no shirt. Or I'm like Borat with the slingshot bikini. I just feel out of place using this style of drip tip. Sure, I could use the black one that it came with, but there's something about putting black tips in my mouth that just doesn't register correctly for what it is moving forward. Would I recommend this device? Uh, yeah, no, never. Um, there's other drippers out there that are better than this. I don't even know why you would wanna buy this dripper. There's nothing, literally guys, there's nothing special with this dripper with the exception of the center post. And that might be a make or break deal for you. For me, it means absolutely nothing. Congratulations, you look just like the Goon 1.5. If I had a stainless steel Goon 1.5, I would show you how similar on the outsides that these two look to each other. I don't know how I feel about them using Glock, considering that they have no affiliation whatsoever with Glock. Give me a damn screwdriver. Give me something to use to take my shit apart. Don't assume the person buying this doesn't look, but I think it's safe to assume any company that sells drippers or peripherals, they always come with coils. Now you don't even come with an extra pin with coils, cotton. Before you know it, it's just going to be a screw when you buy a dripper. And then it's going to be a 510. Then you have to buy the deck. Then you have to buy the posts. You are essentially gonna create your dripper every time you buy a dripper. What am I doing with my head? I look like Richard Simmons. Oh, right, so that's it, I'm done. This thing is, uh, yeah, I don't even have anything positive to say. These companies send me shit and I can see why they send me shit because it's shit. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check it out.